Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In the previous video, we have seen about the simple course request. So, how to make a simple request? You know that a simple request when the browser will make so whenever it is having a get or a post request and the content type is nothing but you remember so the content type so the content type is the content type should be text slash plain and another one is url form encoded form url encoded and the last one is the multi part by form data so if the content type is either of these three forms and the request type is a get or post request then you will have a simple course request fine so now if the request is other than get post or head that means if it is a delete or put or any request and also the content type is not something like that then you will be having a pre-flight request so that is the main thing so now let's try to see it here so what i am trying to do here let's go into this one okay let's go into the main.html file so here in the api i am creating a json file sample.json file i am creating a sample.json file in this sample.json file i will be having a message this is the sample json message data thing i have writing so this is a json file now what i want to do so i want to access this one so i can access it directly sample.json and here you will be having a request method is equal to get and this time you are getting it a json request so i can make it as a json and here text data dot message okay so that's it so now the simple i changed it like this now let's see that whether it will work or not so here if you try to see the sample.json file so you are able to get the output without any problem so we got the output message sample output so fine so if i try to refresh this page and remove this one all and i click on this one see successfully we are able to get the sample.json so why we are able to get the sample.json so here it has did the simple course request you need to re understand that this has made a simple course request why because the request method is get and there is then the content type also so it is trying to the, the response header is trying to send the, the content type is application json but in the request headers we are not sending the content type so here we are not sending the content type so you need to understand that whether it is a json file also the browser does not explicitly send the content type the but the server the response the server response will respond to you that it is a content type is application.json so in order to access in order to request the browser or otherwise in order to tell the browser that the i am expecting from the server the content type is application slash json why because we are using it as a json thing so that means we should be um, we should be make sure that the server has to return the application slash json so now the browser has to request this one so here what i can do so here we need we one thing what we can do is we can manually add the custom header request header that is header thing that is nothing but a content type application slash json so how can i add it here so let's create headers is equal to new headers okay using the headers api interface so here headers dot append I am using dot append and here I will be adding content type. The content type I am expecting from the server is application slash JSON. So now we are adding the headers and now the content type is not does not come under the text slash plain or uh, URL form encoded and also the multi part by form data. Now this content type is expecting is application slash JSON. Now a pre flight request will be made. Okay, so now we are adding some custom headers. So now a pre-flight request will be made. So let's see that whether a pre-flight request will be made or not. If you try to refresh this page, okay, let's filter out this one all and click on the here. So we are not able to get the get request. Okay, sorry, I forgot to add it in the headers thing. Let's add it in the headers. Okay, so let's try to send it. So here I will be refreshing this page again and refresh this page. Now I am clicking on this one see this time we are able to see a pre-flight request has been made and we are getting a course error again we are getting a course error the pre-flight request has been made now what is the pre-flight request it is trying to send it so here we are sending a request method options and in the request headers we are able to see that the host and origin so from where we are trying to make it and to which api we are trying to call it 
the origin and host and we are asking that request headers content type whether this content type request headers is able to access accept by the server or not so we are asking that these accept headers is there or not for the server so now server has to respond that access control allow headers so it needs to the server has to respond access control allow origin star is there okay fine so these all accepts the allows options and all those things and it is asking that whether the content type is yellow is accepted or not so here you need to tell that axis control yellow headers and the content type the server has to send a response header axis control yellow headers so when you send this one then only it will be able to send the request so that is the reason so it is, you are not able to get that one so that is the reason it is not able to make the request so now the options has to receive that one that is nothing but axis control yellow headers how we can send this one in the node.js how you can send it is so in the node.js you will be having something like request dot get of something like public if you try to use it public and here you will be having the in, in this uh, what i can say is uh, what i can say is so this one is uh, what i can say is the express framework okay so here app dot get actually dot request got it app dot get the request comma response and here you need to send response dot set access control okay hello origin so you need to send hello origin to start and another one what you need to do is response dot set access control hello headers headers we need to use it and the headers what we need to do and we need to send the content type that's it and you can send whatever the response you want to send response dot end and you can send whatever the response you want to send you can send it that's it that's like this you need to do so whereas in the apache server how you can send it is in the ht axis i can write something like header set axis control hello headers okay it will be something like headers and here i can send content type that's it now if you try to make a request again so let's try to make the request again so here so this is all main and all the things i am clicking on this one now the pre flight request got success so now if you try to see here so the request headers it is asking that access control request method sorry access control request headers whether the content type request header is accepted or is supported by the server or not we are asking it is asking and the server has responded with access control error headers content type so it is acceptable now what it is trying to do here so it is okay and the sample.json we got the response and here we are able to see the response here so like this actually the pre-flight request will be made so this is how you will be solving the pre-flight request in the server side so hope you understood about this one pre-flight request and also the simple request and also the pre-flight request how we can do it from the server side so this is the type this is the type how we can do it so whenever you are trying to access it so we need to send the access control yellow headers or access control yellow methods <clears throat> okay and also the access control yellow origin so like this you will be having so if you try to see these are all the things request headers and the response headers so here so access control yellow headers access control yellow origin and hello so this one will be access control hello where is this one yeah hello here yeah like this you'll be having hello methods we'll be having so hope you understood about this one so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you